is a really important day for ESB. In 2021, we announced the development of the Green Atlantic project at Money Point. It's a transformation of this site from being a coal-fired generation site, which has been the cornerstone of the electricity system in Ireland over the last 40 years, to being the cornerstone of a renewables future. We said we'd deliver that in four phases. Phase one would be the synchronous compensator, and here we are today with the launch of the synchronous compensator, uh, now built and constructed and ready for operation. The second phase will be around an offshore wind farm, third phase around hydrogen and a fourth phase around other renewable technologies. So this is a very proud day for ESB. This facility will allow the penetration of more renewables on the system. It allows more wind farms to come onto the system at any one time and is a critical uh, piece of infrastructure uh, for both ESB and the broader system. I remember talking to a number of engineers a good few years ago saying that as we develop all this wind, we're going to have a problem because when you've got all that level of renewables, what you don't have is the inertia that pushes the power down the lines. This is the solution. This is actually what's going to make this renewable future work. And I think it's in the tradition that we saw in Ardna Crusha, when at that time at the foundation of the state, we had people willing to think big and look forward and actually get the very best of technology into our country. This is similar. This is the leading cutting edge of renewable technology, where you have a generator that turns a flywheel, that gives you the inertia, that keeps our system stable. If there's any drop in power for whatever different reason, this fills the gap and it allows us to put more wind in the system to develop our offshore resources, to power our, our country and our people. And I think it's really important, it's in Money Point, where we have a strong tradition and history, and where we see to the future that the offshore wind we have available to us can come ashore can be converted and can be used in a really sustainable way. This bit of equipment, while it looks small or innocent enough in its own right, is actually of historic importance as we step in the right direction towards a greener, more renewable, sustainable future.